Welcome to this customer request tech tip provided by Imaginet Technologies. My name is Rusty Belcher and in today's uh, video we're going to be taking a look at how you can generate 2D drawings from point clouds utilizing Autodesk Recap and Autodesk Vectorize It. We're going to start this process in Autodesk Recap. I've opened up Recap and I have a point cloud up on the screen. This is the corner of a building that I'm going to be working on. And if I zoom into the building, you'll see that there are currently some CNC machines located in this corner of the uh, architectural design. Now the goal for this project is to generate a 2D AutoCAD drawing that includes the footprint of these CNC machines and the walls in the point cloud. Now what I'm going to do is adjust the point cloud so that just a slice of the point cloud is showing. Then we're going to take a screenshot of that and export it to my iPad where I have another application called Autodesk Vectorize It. Vectorize It is going to take that picture and turn it into the AutoCAD drawing that I want to use. So to get started, I'm going to go over here to the display and I'm going to take off perspective mode. This will basically put me into orthographic mode. And then I want to adjust the bounding box of my point cloud. Now I'm going to adjust the bounding box of the top down until I get a good cross section of the machines. And about there will work. I'm then going to bring the floor up again until I get a good slice right through the point cloud that just shows the information I'm interested in. We'll go ahead and confirm that and then we'll look at this from the top view. Now the process, or in the process, it is important that you take a moment and you clean up the point cloud as, as best you can. So for instance, there's a, a couple of machines over here that I'm really not interested in this particular area. So I can easily come in, highlight that data, and delete it. And there's also some extra points right here for some furniture. I want to delete that as well. Now what I'm left with is a good point cloud that represents the cross section of the building that I'm interested in. Now I also need a good measurement uh, to use as we go through this process. So I'm going to use the distance command and I'm going to choose a distance between this point and this far wall over here. And right now I've got a measurement of 20.04 meters. Now I need to write that down, 20.04, that number is going to be important moving on in the process. But now I need to generate a screenshot of the cross section of the point cloud. Now there's a lot of ways that you can do that, I think just hitting print screen and pasting it into a tool like Word or PowerPoint will work. Um, I've got a tool called Snagit, so when I click my print screen I can actually take a good uh, simple screenshot of the point cloud and then I've got that in my tool here and I'm ready to basically save this as an image and then email it to myself so that I can open it on my iPad. I've opened up my iPad and I'm going to start the Vectorize It app. I'm going to select Choose Image. Now at the time of this recording the Vectorize It app was only available for the iPad devices. Here's the image that we were generated in Autodesk Recap. I'm going to select that and it's going to pop up in the application. And the application automatically traces the pixels with vector data. And if you look real closely, it actually surrounds the pixels with vector data. I'm going to use the Fine Tune tool because I don't want to surround the pixels. I want to draw a line through the center of the pixels using the center line option. Now we can also adjust the contrast of the image. This will include more lines or exclude lines from the actual picture data. Once you have it set up the way you like it, you can go ahead and proceed to the second step. Now here we're going to start dealing with the vector data. 
It's important that you understand that the vector data actually comes into AutoCAD as a 3D polyline. And you can use this simplification tool to add more control points or to remove control points from that polyline. Now we want a nice representation of the point cloud, so I'm going to leave as many control points in as possible. And I'm also going to turn this option for smoothing off. When we're satisfied with the vector data, we move on to step three and we preview the export. Now before we export it, we're going to use this option to add a dimension to the picture. And I'm going to drag this right hand ball over here and I'm going to choose the same spots that we chose in the original point cloud. I'll go ahead and move the left ball over. Again, put it at the same spot. I'm then going to enter the dimension value at the top of the screen and we'll set that to 20.04. Now that we've got that set up, we can go ahead and click the export button and we can choose to email ourselves a DXF file. I've opened up AutoCAD and here is the DXF file that we generated with Autodesk Vectorize It. Now I'm going to run a distance command just to check and make sure that it's scaled correctly. And you can see that we're very, very close to the dimension we set in Vectorize It. It is important that you remember that we're dealing with point clouds. On top of that, we have uh, the human factor where we selected the original dimension. We also had to select it again in the Vectorize It app. So it's important if you're going to adopt this process that you understand it is not 100% precise. Now recap actually was displaying the point clouds in meters. So we are going to have to scale this information up. I'll pick my base point and I'll enter my scale factor. And we now have our full scale data. Now here you can see that I took a few minutes and added a few rectangles and some AutoCAD lines to really differentiate the difference between the equipment and the building. But now we're ready to use this drawing as an overlay with Factory Design Suite. To finish off the presentation, I've opened up my Factory Design Suite. I'm going to start a new layout. Then I'm going to add the DWG overlay that we've been generating the whole time. So here you can see the footprint that we actually generated from a recap point cloud, converted it to vector data with Autodesk Vectorize It on my iPad, imported that back into AutoCAD, and now I've got a footprint of my building that I can use to generate my factory layout. So I fast forwarded in the process a little bit. I've gone ahead and added the CNC machines and the columns to our design. I've also added the actual point cloud we started with at the beginning of this process. So I hope you can see how nice it is to include that Autodesk Vectorize It app along with Recap to generate actual 2D AutoCAD drawings from point clouds. I hope you get a chance to explore the process that we outlined in this video. If you have any questions about this video and the contents, please contact your Imaginate Technologies support representative.